I've been a location manager for 30 years and the demands of Babylon and Don't Worry Darling right on top of each other just about took me down. But I have to say, it was exhilarating. The logistical scope was beyond anything I'd ever been challenged with. You read the script and then you just kind of meditate on them and you go deep and you close your eyes and you watch the movie in your head. Then I kind of rely on my subconscious to push forward ideas. Being involved in these films really pushed me to my limit. Welcome to the Victory Project. We're all here because we believe in the mission. What are we doing? Changing, Changing the, world. the world. What are we doing? Changing, Changing the, the world. world. Don't Worry Darling is set in the 50s, modernist Palm Springs with a sci-fi genre. We were looking at exquisite mid-century architecture, desert themes. But the most difficult part of Don't Worry Darling was to find these open landscapes and unusual geographical formations. Olivia Wilde was a very skilled director, like a deep thinking intellectual. Her vision was strong. She was a true collaborator, very open to creative discussions. That's the dream job, where you are doing your best and you're getting recognized for it, getting praised and you're getting supported, but it was nuts. If I had money, I would only spend it on things that were fun, you know? Not boring things like taxes. I just want for everyone to party forever. Babylon is about the early days of Hollywood cinema. I always want to be part of something bigger, something that lasts, that means something. It's a 180-page script, all set in period Los Angeles. It's the most magical place in the world. Get it, get it, get it, get it. There was probably 70-plus locations, just the vast size and scope of it. I started breaking down the script, and halfway through, I was like, oh, wow. Here's the twist. I mean, the other issue was when we're in these remote locations. Now, that film was shot during the summertime with COVID protocols. We were dealing with like 500 to 1,000 extras a day. The crew size is 300. Like, how do you do that? One of my secrets in pulling something like this off is to hire people that are smarter than me and better at the job than me and to then try to support them. So that was my goal. <laughs> and that's what I did. It's the dream job as a location manager to be met with so many challenges that to pull that off gave a great deal of pride to my team and myself. Ironically, like I think that you know, looking at Chris Baugh at the Cola Awards and he's got two nominations, how did that happen? I wonder the same thing myself because before I got the first call, I'd been sitting on my couch for four or five months wondering if I was ever going to work again. And I think we've all been there. And I thought this might be it this time. And then one call came and then another call came and I was able to do two films over a period of a year that were the most demanding projects I've ever had in my career. Then at the end, you know, it's kind of just a fog and I walk into the movie theater and I watch these films and I think, wow, this is an amazing job to have. He went grand.